John Zimmerman from TabletClass.com here to try to help you out with solving some inequalities. So uh, those of you that are having a fine and dandy time in your algebra class or pre-algebra or wherever you're at and you're studying inequalities and have no idea what's going on, hopefully this will help. Okay, so when you're solving inequalities, a couple, couple things. One, um, basically you already need to know how to solve e basic equations. So if you don't know how to solve a basic equation, an algebraic equation, you want to go back and review that because you're just going to become um, more lost <laughs> solving inequalities. But basically, as I was stating, when you're solving inequalities, you're going to take the same steps as if you were solving an equation. So like here we have 2x is less than 8. You can kind of think of this as 2x is equal to 8 as far as the steps we would take to solve for x. Okay, here it's obvious that we just go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 2 and we would solve for x. Okay, same idea with inequalities. There are some differences and we'll talk about that here in a second. So here if I want to solve the inequality I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 and I get x is less than 4. Alright, so you've solved this inequality. One thing you want to do when you solve an inequality or you may be asked to do is to graph the solution. Okay, this means all numbers are less than 4. So one common way that your teacher might ask you to do is just put that on a number line. So here I'm going to put 0, here I'm going to put 4. So all numbers less than 4, what you're going to do is put an open circle at 4 and then all the numbers that are less than 4 are where? Okay, they're in this direction on the number line. So this is the graph that go, would go along with this solution. Okay, um, If I had x was less than or equal to 4, I would fill in this circle. Okay, There's another way of showing that too. Sometimes your teacher, actually let me just do it real quick like this. Sometimes they like to see it this way. Here's 0, here's 4. Okay, This little kind of like open parenthesis, this way means the same thing as the open circle. Okay, where this bracket like that means the same thing as the less than or equal to. Alright, so this is pretty much the general idea. Now I said there were a few little exceptions. And the biggest thing is, the biggest difference between solving an inequality and an equation is when you divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number. Okay, so here if I'm going to solve for x, okay, I'm going to divide both sides of the inequality by a negative 2. All right. So when you divide both sides of, of uh, when you divide an inequality, both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the sign, the inequality symbol, is going to get reversed. Okay, going to flip it. So this is less than. You, it's going to become a greater than situation. So it's going to become x is greater than eight divided by negative two is negative four. Okay. So this is key, and this is where students really, really need to pay attention when you divide both sides of an equation by a negative number not divide into a negative no, no, excuse me not to divide into a negative number when you're dividing both sides by a negative number you switch that inequality symbol around then of course we can go ahead and link this up this is all numbers that are greater than negative four so here's negative four I can draw myself a circle there and all the numbers greater than negative four are in this direction okay so let's go ahead and Check out the rest of these problems here. Kind of scoop my problems here so we have some room to work. So I have 3x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 10. Real simple. If I'm solving this as an equation, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. And then I'm going to go 3x is greater than or equal to 9. So now to solve for x, right? I'm still thinking like if this is an equation. I'm saying, okay, I just need to simply divide both sides of the equation by 3. I get x is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, so I'm good to go. Remember, I did, you only switch that inequality symbol if, there's, uh, if you're dividing both sides by a negative number. Here, I didn't have to divide by a negative number, so nothing changes. So this is my solution. When I see that graphically, I'm going to go ahead and put 0 here. Here's 3. All the numbers x that are greater than or equal to 3 are this way. Okay, they're to the right of 3. And this is an equal to situation, so I'm going to fill in that circle. Okay. All right. So if you understand this, you're going to ace your test and be a happy camper. Now this is a little bit 
a different type of situation with the inequality where we call this compound inequality. What you're going to be doing is going to be solving for x. Um, you want to get x in the middle between these two inequality symbols. Okay, so you're going to be kind of simultaneously solving or taking the steps as if you were solving an equation. Um, let me actually show you. It's probably easier to see it. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is get rid of that 2 okay, in between those inequality symbols. But now I have to subtract it across the board this way. Okay, just as if I'm solving an equation, I'm going to add down. I get negative 6 plus negative 2. Negative 8 is less than or equal to 2x. Which is less than 10 plus negative 2 is 8. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and divide everything by 2 to get x by itself. Right? And by the way, if I was divided by a negative 2, guess what? The inequality symbols would switch. Okay? That's not the case here, so I'm going to get negative 4 less than equal to x less than 4. Okay, so this is my solution. So these are all the numbers, x, in between negative 4 and 4. Let me show you graphically what that looks like. All right, so all the numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 4, but less than 4. Okay, so th this is the graph that goes with that. Okay, if you kind of read this, all the numbers x that are greater than or equal to negative 4. However, at the same time, they're less than 4. This is the graph. Okay, so hopefully you're a master at this. If you're not, and you really want to be a master at algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2, pre-algebra, whatever, tabletclass.com. We focus on clear and understandable math, i.e. math explained in a way that real-life students like yourself can understand. So if your teacher's confusing you, or you just, like, don't get it, whatever come on by our website we have a 30-day free trial i assure you you will be very happy that you did good luck to yourself